Hello, I'm Sick Solo. Welcome to this Saturday shave. This Sick Solo, or Solo shave, you might call it. The razor for today is this gorgeous monster, Sick Solo razor, that Ben over at Shave It Shave Co. in Canada made specially for me. We worked together on this design, or he had what I would like, and then he tried and gave it his best shot, and what a wonderful shot that was. This is the Solo Monster, the Six Solo Monster, six inch handle, 17 millimeters wide up here, a little less down here. Uh, the Shave It Shave Co. Let me just see the logo there on the top. This is an R89 that's been branded with their name. And you know, I don't know if you do know, but the R89 from Eula is my one of my absolute favorite hits. So it's a win-win with some win on it. The show for today is the one that Folger very kindly sent me from Germany. It's the Solo uh, Soap from the, uh, Goodfellas Smile. And this is a wonderful dupe of the Chanel Egoiste. And I tell you, filled to the brim, it's a wonderful, wonderful scent. Also the splash for it. Thank you, Folger, for sending me this. I really, really, I haven't tried the splash yet, but I tell you, it smells fantastic. and stays on the face for quite a while. Folger also sent me this very kind, this very nice uh, cool dog handle that he had made in the Sig Solo colors with a synthetic 26 millimeter knot in it. Also, the, the Roger Quinn, what does it say? Let's say, see, the Rod Roger Quinn special made six auto shaving ball. So, there you have them. In the razor, I have a feather blade on its second use. So, you're going all in on sharpness, all in on scent. Look at this man, that's nice. Oops. It's the first time I use this brush on this ball. And this soap is straight up a six and a half or a seven lathered up. Man, that's potent. I just love. It's a vegan base. It's the AJ1 base from Goodfellow Smile. Uh, made in Italy. And I tell you, if vegan is your thing, this is, well, even if it's an art, this is a fantastic base and it's a fantastic soap. And I read online, I didn't know that even the, the top is made from old sugar canes. So it's biodegradable too. And it says so on the bottom there. So. So actually you can leave it in somewhere, throw it out, and it's biodegradable. Man, isn't that just something? Okay, so here you have it. First pass, two and a half day stubble. No, that's a lie. Two day stubble. Oh man, I just love this razor and I just love this head. This is by far my longest handle and I tell you it's not that heavy. All in all it's about 90 grams or is it 80? Sorry I forgot to mention it. I will put it down here how many grams it is. But it feels, even though it has such a long handle, the balance point is right here by the second ridge here. So, fantastic balance. I will, of course, leave a link to Shave It Shave Co's site. They have a lot of wonderful 
Unica racers. Well, all of them are. No one, not one of their racers are the same. So, if, if that's your thing, go check it out. They have smaller handles too. If six inches is too much for you. I think their smallest handle is about two and a half inch or even two three quarters. Something like that. So if you have a special idea for a design, write Ben a male at Shave Shave Co. And I'm sure he'll do his best to make the racer of your dreams. Favorite teams, colors, or if you have a shave channel, a shave channel colors, or just your favorite colors, or you know, whatever you like. I'm sure that Ben can make it happen. At least I know he will give it a go. He had some issues, not issues, some challenges rather to get the right colors for this handle. So it took a couple of months, but he told me from the very beginning that this could take a couple of months to get some attempts in because of the resin and special blend and stuff. So, but he mailed me in the process, showing me this and that giving me ideas, made some attempts, some tries, you know what, and to hear my opinion in the process and stuff like that. So I felt like, almost like a maker, you know, without being so at all. That's not what I do and that's not what I can do. The good thing I had a guy like Ben helping me. Oh yeah. Second pass against the grain. Against the growth. And as I have a lot of different directions on my neck, I need to attack it from some different angles here. You know, it's just the way it is. So, and I'm focusing, I'm listening actually to the feedback because this being the second pass, the feedback is the best way to determine if you are on the stop or sometimes at least that is. But, I don't know if you can see it, but the feather blade is no problem in this. Some people consider this hit mild. And I would say it is. What? Put a feather or a kite blade in it. I tell you, it will do the job. So, that's what I did today with a feather plate. You can use a Kai or maybe a Vismet. They're almost as sharp. Some people prefer them. I usually do too. But in this razor, in the i 9 head, you know what? No problem whatsoever. So, everything is perfect here. That's just nice. 
Man. You know, sometimes you make a thumbnail and when you see the picture, you just say to yourself, man, did I do that? Remember, I don't edit. I add some light. I have some Philips Hue studio lights that I put at the side, 18C towel, and that's it. I add the dark corners in the picture to make it, you know, pop. But that's it. I don't adjust anything. Today was one of those days. This, I, I just think the solo splash for the first time. I don't know how this restriction is. Oh, it's one of those. You can knock yourself out. Not much comes out at a time. Oh man. Oh man, that's the solo. I would say this is a seven or even an eight, an eight um, compared to the soap. Man, this is nice. This contains a little alcohol, but I don't have much burn actually. Okay, the Arco aftershave balm, the one called Cool, is in the same postal coat as both the soap and the splash. So, cousins, neighbors, whatever you call it, they're very similar. Not exactly the same, but similar. And this is just the Arco aftershave balm, it's just great. So, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's have a sound test. Man, 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 perfect, the mondo. So, thank you, Ben, for making me the razor and working with me on it. Thank you, Fogger, for sending me the soap, the splash, the ball, and the brush. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know why we do this? We do this because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Six Solo, out.